Good morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project with Chris here. Hi guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking about the woods and what's going on with the uh, the forestry guys and uh, what's going on, are they coming back? Well, it doesn't look like they're coming back. Um, we're sort of lost and confused about what happened there. But um, they left us with a whole bunch of brush and smaller trees and said that we have to clean it up which um, they were getting all the free wood and then they asked us to clean up and then they said they might be back after we clean it up um, so I'm confused I have no idea really what's going on but you can see here this wide opening Chris has been working long long hard hours right Chris yeah and uh, he's been burning up the uh, sawzall batteries on the Ryobi he's got piles of wood go stand next to that so we get an idea how big that pile is he's got multiple piles of wood from the brush that these guys left us and that's a nice amount of uh, a brush right there that he has done himself uh, he's cleared off all of the uh, the twigs and stuff, the actual brush, and piled it off into the sides. They left some firewood here, oddly, so whatever. And um, all the actual brush, Chris has piled up like this here, which actually makes the, some one of the best fence lines yeah. to help stop the deer. Uh, if we do that all the way around the perimeter, we'll be hooked up. So he's still got a little bit of work to do here. There's some brush left in here to, to clean out, but it is a lot of work, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, you can see, though, that Chris has really cleared out this area. This is all new. Let's, let me get back to this uh, far back position and show you what all we got. He has done an amazing job. This is all new land. Now, you may remember the camper was parked right about here, somewhere in here. Oh, right here. Side. Chris reminds me the camper was right about here. I'm losing perspective here because this is, uh, there were trees right here, right all up in here. Because I remember, is that right, Chris? Because I remember driving close to these trees. Yeah, the, there, uh, that tree there, the the right that was the one that was in the way of my truck. Yeah. That's the one that was close to my truck tire. Yeah, so the, the camper was right about here. Um, oh, no, the camper was right here, Chris. Yeah, right here. The camp that's the dry ground right here where the camper was parked. Right here. I had to bring the truck around between the camper and that tree to get up into the swampy area. Actually it's not swampy area, it's just uh at that time it was wet from the rains. But um yeah, the camper was right here. So this was all forest. And Chris has really worked hard. I want to show you how well he's done this. All this area is new area, newly claimed land that we're going to use, and I'll tell you in a minute what we're going to do. Um, by the way, Chris is piling up garbage he finds out here, which was left over from previous uh, people. A lot of yucky stuff. You can tell that's nothing new, and that's definitely not from me. That's some old, old, old... When plastic disintegrates, you know it's old. Anyway... Um, there's our original fence line. Now the tree guys had knocked that part down and I gave them permission to, to cut at will because um, that was going to be in their way because eventually we're going to come back. You probably can't see it, but we're going to take out these trees here all the way to a path that's back here. So this will be a lot wider. And then Chris has gone and absolutely cleared out this area. Look at the dry ground. He has completely cleared out everything here. And he's got some more log piles, if you want to stand next to that. Mm -hmm. Some more log piles there and there, just from what he's cutting. This is all what you cut, right? Yep. Yourself. Yep. All right. And uh, he's been clearing out the woods here of any small stuff. And you can see it's a little bit thinner. And then I'm going to come along with a chainsaw and cut the bigger stuff out. And we're going to do this ourselves. So, I'm looking for... Chris, what happened to these this fence here? Was that broke down yeah. from... So you can tell that was beat down. That wasn't just naturally... You can tell this was beat down because of how it's, it's flattened entirely and how the wires are ripped. 
that doesn't fall down on its own naturally. Anybody that knows their wire is going to tell you that that doesn't happen by the natural weight of the wire because there are other areas where it's still standing at wide distances. This was beat down last August or September when I visited Melanie. All this here. Actually, there's a lot of fence down. I gotta rebuild entirely. I have to start all over again. It's sad that all the fence line that we had that I had done last year is gone. It's all gone. So uh, yeah, we've got to rebuild all of it because now we're gonna clean out this area here for the chickens as originally planned. So a um, lot of work to do, a lot of rebuilding to do. All the work I did last year I have to do all over again. Uh, and the other problem is now we don't have any chainsaws. The um, My good old home light, uh, the one that cuts everything, that was a beast, is now leaking gas so that's going into the shop. And uh, my home light that my dad gave me literally burnt up. We were cutting some trees in 100 degree weather with a sharp chain by the way, freshly sharpened chain and it just started burning so um, that's that one it starts and runs but it won't cut so um, we're saving up for a real forestry chainsaw so we can finish all the rest of this right here we're gonna do all of this ourselves and I know this is long and coming people have been asking for a long time what we're gonna do who's gonna do it where are the forestry guys well this is it guys this is the this is what's gonna happen all of this is coming out we're gonna do it all ourselves Chris has cleared. Now if you look, he has done an amazing job here. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at all this space he's cleared out. Once we get these few trees here out of the way, this is wide open area. He's done a really nice job. Thank you. Yeah, well thank you. It's been that, a lot of work. He did a lot of that when we were in Michigan. And then like I said, we're going to come back here. There's an orange flag um, right here. I don't know if you can see it. You want to stand by it? Um, I've, I got it. I zoomed on it. There's an orange flag, and there's another one back in there. There's an orange flag, and those mark where we're going to come through straight back, extending the fence line as well, and then meet up on the other side where, uh, where the other side of the fence starts. And then all this will be open. So we're going to have more area, and then we're going to do our botanical style gardening next year and have the walk through gardens and uh, Beautiful uh, barbecue areas, and it's going to be really pretty. So, anyway, that's it. I wanted to tell you what's going on, how we're going to proceed, and who's doing the work. Us. Exactly. <laughs> Us. Uh, Chris actually, this is what it looked like, right where he's standing. That's how it looked like. And he actually took all that out. Now, that's all blueberries. Um, and made this bare ground using the Ryobi weed eater, believe it or not. He cleaned all that out. This looked like this, and that is quite a lot of work. Oh, yeah. But here we have some perfectly clean, dry ground, new start, and uh, ready to go again. Chris is still working, so if you saw the come along there, that's because he's working out here. He's got a uh, thing there for hauling his wood, but I just wanted to take a break and show you what's going on. Looks really nice, really good. So. Anyway, I'm thinking about a booster campaign, uh, considering, just considering and selling some shirts to uh, raise some general funds and get a chainsaw, but uh, that's just in the air. We're discussing it right now, but, um, and we're looking, we're looking up and studying, because I am not going to play games this time and get any more little piddling chainsaws and burn them up, right? Yeah. Pointless, yeah. right? Yeah, we learned our lesson. We had a pull on. How did that turn out? Not good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pull on or pull on or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, and then the cheap new home light. Yeah. No good. Didn't last. No. New the newer junk the uh, and what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it for not commercial grade? The stuff that you buy for $129. Residential. At, yeah. No good. Nope. So there it is, everybody. New plans. What happened to the forestry guys? And uh, what Chris has been up to. So I'm gonna get this video up for you guys and uh, talk to y'all later. Troy and Chris from the do-it-yourself world new off-grid project. Talk to you later.